Hey, what's up? John Sonomez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer, and when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign-on bonus for using that link. And today we're going to be talking about real estate. Yes, uh, I have done some videos on real estate. Some of you are like, what the heck was this guy talking about real estate? Well, you know, I, I've, I've done, done fairly well in the real estate realm. If you're interested, you can always check out my playlist on real estate investment and, and investment in general. I'm not going to go through all the details here, but occasionally I like to answer a few real estate questions on this channel. And I got one here from Jonathan. And he says, I'm 21 and set a goal that I want to retire by 40 to 45. Cool. With 20K of passive uh, rental property income. Man, that's awesome. I like that. I love that goal. That's a good goal. Currently saving money to buy my first property and hopefully when I get a web development job, I can speed up the process. My question is, how do I plan for this goal? So this is good. So 21, Johnson's 21 and he's thinking this way and he's got this plan by 40 to 45 to make 20K of passive income from rental properties. I love this. This is great. Thanks for everything you do and have a beautiful day. I, I am having a beautiful day. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, P.S. I was thinking of buying a duplex and live in one and I rent out the other one. So basically the tenant pays my mortgage. So, okay there's a lot of ways to approach this. So I think Jonathan has got his head screwed on right. And I, well, I'll, I'll start with, with the, the last, the PS of, of renting out a duplex and living in one side. I think that's a great idea. This is, is a fantastic thing. More people should do this. A lot of you young people out there that are thinking about renting or buying a house, consider buying a duplex and renting out one side. And if you find the right deal, which it's out there, you could actually have the renters pay your rent, right? You see what I'm saying? So you could actually live for totally free by having a duplex and, and renting out one side. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be super easy. I'm not gonna say that those deals are everywhere. It, it depends on where you're at. There's, you're not gonna find that deal in California, New York, you know, San Francisco, not gonna, not gonna happen. But if you're in the Midwest, you might be able to find that deal, right? So I've, I've seen it before. So I think that's a great idea. But let's talk about the plan. So 21, you want to retire by 40 to 45, you want to get 20K of passive real estate income. It's not going to be easy, but it's certainly doable. But you, what you need to do is you need to calculate backwards where you need to be and have a real solid plan for this. I can give you a general outline, right? But I haven't run the numbers, so I can't tell you exactly. So there's going to be some factors in here, but you actually need to take a spreadsheet and actually need to calculate this and figure this out. And it's going to be fairly complex, but you don't have to be super detailed, right? You can kind of ballpark this here, but you do need a spreadsheet, right? So you can give some rough answers here, but, but calculate this out, right? 20K of, of passive income from, from real estate, let's say 45, okay? What does your gross need to be, right? I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have expenses, you're gonna have rents. I mean, you're gonna have property management, right? You're gonna have a bunch of things here. So, so that can give you an idea of what kind of rents you need to be pulling in, right? It's not gonna be 20k of rents. You're not just getting 20k, right? It might be like 30 or 40k a month of rents. So, in order to get 40k a month of rents, how many properties do you need? How much, and how much should those properties cost, right? So, and how can you divide that over time? And, and put inflation into the equation a little bit here, right, over, over that period of time. So work backwards and make a spreadsheet and, and run some scenarios, right? This is gonna take some time and some planning. And like I said, you can kind of rough ballpark it. Like if I were just gonna give you what I think would probably work for you, it also depends on how, how big your budget is, right? How much money are you investing every year? How much money do you have to invest every year, right? If you can put 10K down onto a rental property every year, that's, that's different than, hey, I've got 50K to, to invest in real estate every year. That's different, right? Or 100K, right? Th those are all different scenarios. And you know what you're planning based on the, your, your current scenario might, 
there may not be it. There might be this gap, and you might be like, "Well, how do I get there?" And, and it might not be, be apparent. You might have to do some other things. You might need to make more money in your job or start a side business in order to fuel that, right? I had to do that to to reach some of my real estate goals. Okay, so think about that and, and calculate that out. But I'll give you kind of a rough timeline, a rough kind of plan that I would have if I were you, which would be something like, and this was the plan I initially developed when I was doing this, which would be to buy one property every year, okay? Regardless, and, and, and the, light, the nice thing I like about this plan is that it's scalable. So the size of the property depends, is dependent upon how much money that you have in that year, right? So when I first started doing real estate investment, when I was close to your age, I think about my house, at, my first house at 19, but I really started doing investments around 21 and, and, started, and started this plan of buying one house per year. I think the first house that I bought, I was able to put $10,000 down. So it was like a $100,000 house or $120,000 house. And then the next year, it was probably about the same. And then probably like the third or fourth year, I had more money. I was able to put like $20,000 or $30,000 down. And so I got to the point where I was buying properties and I was putting about twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 down every year on the property when I buy it. And some of that was because of the real estate that was already making me money. And some of it was because I was making more money in my job and I had side businesses and side things going on which helped me to do that. So that's the kind of plan that, that I would, you know, it's not gonna happen magically. I think that's, that's the key thing is like, you actually have to have a solid plan for this and you can run these numbers and calculate this out. There's actually a really good book that I recommend called The Millionaire Real Estate Investor. I think that's by Gary Keller, like the founder of Keller Williams, if I, if I recall correctly. I don't re recommend very many real estate books simply because a lot of them are crap. But the reason why I'm really gonna recommend that book to you is because it has these charts that show you, it, it gives you realistic expectation over like 20 years what the value of property is likely to be, how much money you're likely to make from it, cash flow and all that. So again, it's a complex equation. You're, gonna, you're not going to be able to nail this down perfectly, but at least if you run the numbers and you do the best job that you can, you can have a ballpark idea and you can always adjust the plan. But you, you've got to have, you got to know where you are and, and where you need to go in order to, to reach these goals. I'll also recommend for you, I have a, a course that I created called uh, Simple Real Estate Investing for Software Developers. You can check that out here. And if you buy that course, obviously it has a money back guarantee on it, but that's going to help you to give you the basics of everything I know about investing. And just to give you a background, I have about 26 rental properties. They're all paid off. And I, I started investing when I was 19. So I, I kind of know what I'm talking about here. And I don't give a lot of bullshit advice about this. I, I, I give you exactly, you know, practical advice on how to get started and how to do this. And the reason why I created the course, even though it might not seem like it goes along with a lot of my other content, it was just simply because I was tired of so many people giving BS real estate advice and doing all this kind of scammy, no money down and really speculative moves uh, that, that just doesn't make sense. Like, you know, I, you, you need some kind of practical advice. So that's what I put together there. Uh, so go check that out. And you know, this is good. I think you've, you've got a good plan here. You just need to develop the plan further. And it's, it's gonna be very dependent on your individual factors. And you know, I, I think you have enough information though to say, okay, you, you, can you do this in 45, by the time you're 45? Absolutely, I believe that you can. It's, just, it's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be hard to do. You know, 20K is, is a pretty big number, but it, it's certainly possible. But you're gonna have to start moving now, which it seems like you're gonna do, and you have to have a plan. And it's gonna take a lot of work and, and a lot of effort, and you gotta find good deals in order to be able to, to do this in, in that time frame. All right, I hope that is helpful to you. If you have a question for me, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that subscribe, click the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos, especially if you like the real estate stuff, because hey, those, those videos might not show up and then you'd miss it. And then you, you wouldn't find out the secret to, to life and, and how to make millions of dollars, right? All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.